I've come along to the Department of Education and Children to find out about uh, this press release uh, outlining making children's voices count in the island. And uh, with me, Annette Baker from Balakameen. And you're one of the brainchilds behind this. I explain, what, what is it? Uh, Investing in Children is award, an award that um, was first developed in Durham in the, uh, the wake of the negative publicity which uh, surrounded children following the, uh, the James Bulger case in the 90s. An organisation led by Liam Cairns there got together uh, and decided to uh, redress the balance with regards to the, uh, the, the image of students and, uh, and got together this organisation which became known as Investing in Children, uh, which basically promoted um, human rights for children and young people and uh, worked with schools and organisations to, um, to, to give an award which acknowledged the extent to which these organisations listened and acted upon the voice of young people. So children telling the adults what they like about the school, if you get the right sort of comments back, you get the award, do you? Basically, yes. This is very much led by the students themselves. Um, it's assessed by um, assessors and uh, Nigel Bennett and myself have just been licensed to assess for this award on the Isle of Man. Um, but the important thing is, uh, unlike uh, many other awards systems that uh, organisations and even schools go for, uh, it's not paper driven, it's not box ticking, it's all about um, evidence in whether dialogue with young people leads to change and that's uh, is assessed basically through um, dialogue with the students rather than filling out uh, lots and lots of forms and, and writing reports and so on. In, so in the time of cutbacks, is this an expensive operation? Not at all. In fact, um, it's far more economical now than it's ever been. Uh, Nigel, Nigel's school, St John's and Balakameen High School, for the past seven years, I think, have been the only schools on the island who have this award. Um, when we uh, when we went for it and in the in the years that we've been involved in it um it was more expensive for the island for the schools to run because we had to bring assessors over from durham to uh, validate the award but now nigel and myself have been licensed to to assess on the island it's a lot more cost effective so the question is why are the other schools not already involved if you've been in it what seven years now um, I think there's a lot of factors um, involved in that, not least um, probably financial constraints. Um, I'm not sure of the extent to which uh, a lot of the other schools have been aware of the existence of the award or have really had the opportunity and time, crucially, to think about uh, whether or not it's something they'd like to do. Um, and I think with Nigel and myself now, they have access to um, an on-island resource to find out more about it and, uh, and to, uh, to work with people who've got the award, which um, I think will be positive for them. Skeptics might say you'd, you'd grab your best students, you'd put them in the room, they'd be interviewed and everything's fantastic. How, how do you get past that? Students themselves um, will never fail to let you down in that respect. Um, you, you go about that, if you try and uh, prep the students and, uh, and rehearse them, um, you do that at your peril. Um, because anybody who's uh, got a trained eye uh, working with young people, or you don't even need a trained eye to, to see through um, the, kind of, um, uh, the kind of screens and the kind of rehearsed uh, lines they'll come up with if you dare to try and do that, basically it's self-defeating because it can, it can be soon seen through. Well, you've been doing it, as I say, for seven years. Has your school changed in any direction from this? Definitely. Um, I've, I've, um, there's a number of things which uh, I could mention in this respect, but I suppose the most prominent one for us at the moment is the Balladome. Um, Balakam means a large school um, and it's very busy at lunch times and the students said, um, surely you can do better than that. Uh, we want somewhere um, more pleasant to go to than uh, cramming into the school canteen because lots of us, uh, what can we do? So we sat down, we looked at it, we talked to them, we, as a leadership team we, we, uh, we looked at it, we talked to the staff and between us all um, we came up with the idea of what we call the Balladome uh, which is the large construction in the, in the yard by the canteen which is actually a really nice facility for students to um, interact and to, to eat and to uh, socialise at lunch times. And that came out of this, I mean you, you could have a student council that could do that, wouldn't you? I mean, does is it the same thing, really? Well, yeah, it came out of dialogue with the students. What the award does, it's like a, a, a constant reminder that this is what you're about, um, because it's very easy to just sit and talk. And, you know, we're all very good um, at talking shops, and um, sometimes these, we, we're all, we've all been in meetings where you've talked and talked and talked, and you've thought afterwards, you scratch your head, and you thought, well, what actually actually came out of that? Um, 
this award reminds you about the imperative for action. It's no good to just talk and listen, you've actually got to act on it. So um, I think it's a very useful reminder on a, on a yearly basis, as well as an acknowledgement of the fact that that's what we at Balakameen stand for, um, of the importance of converting dialogue to action. Okay, well finally, do you expect all the schools to come on board with this? Uh, we, we would hope that as many schools as possible um, come on board with us. Um, obviously there's no obligation to do so. We would hope that by talking to people we'd be able to convince them of, um, uh, of the benefits of, 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 doing, of, of taking the awards and, um, and, and of being assessed for it. Um, and from our own experience, Nigel and I know that many of the schools, most of the schools on the island have lots of very positive pupil student voice initiatives going on. Um, for which this would give them due acknowledgement.